Imagine being told that your investors want to shut your startup down tomorrow. That was the exact situation I found myself in. When my investors told me I wasn't nervous, I didn't go to pieces. In fact, I was as calm as calm could be. And because I was calm in that same meeting, I was able to convince my investors to not shut the company down, which led to us closing our funding. How did I pull off this magic trick? It was the Stockdale paradox. In today's video, I'll explain to you how you can use the Stockdale paradox to help you propel your startup to success. You're going to find yourself in at least one near death experience as a CEO. So when the board meeting ended, my team and I had to solve two major problems. Number one, get the company funded in the next six weeks. Number two, keep the team from quitting because we were all going to go to minimum wage. Just like when you have your major crisis, I had a choice. You can lie to yourself about what's happening. And believe me, it would be oh so easy to lie to myself and mislead my team too. In my case, I could mislead my team that our funding was guaranteed, that our runway was longer than it was, and that our investors were going to support us regardless of whether we got funding. Lying rarely works. And it eventually ends in a heartbreak every single time. Worse yet, the lies you tell yourself hurt you more than the pain of realizing you were wrong does. Lying hurts your credibility with your team. Lying hurts your credibility with your investors. And lying hurts your credibility with your customers too. So I wasn't going to go in that direction. However, I didn't want to be so pessimistic that I scared the team more than they already would be. In our case, I didn't want to say there was no chance of us getting funding. That doesn't work either. You'll scare everyone away. Now, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel and you want more content like this, then hit the subscribe button right now and you'll get notified every time I release a new video. Back to our story. So what is the right tone for you to strike? It's optimistic realism. That's the tone you want. And that's what I decided to do with my team. I'll come back to this later. It's really nothing more than the Stockdale Paradox. The Stockdale Paradox is about this guy, Admiral James Stockdale, the highest ranking American POW held during the Vietnam War. If you haven't heard Stockdale's story, it is amazing and inspirational. Stockdale realized he was going into hell when the North Vietnamese captured him. Stockdale was tortured more than 20 times. He had every reason to just give up. Instead, Stockdale did everything he could to help himself and his fellow prisoners survive their ordeal. However, the one thing Stockdale didn't do was delude himself. Here's what he said about his fellow prisoners that didn't survive. They were the ones who said, we're going to be out by Christmas and Christmas would come and Christmas would go. Then they say, we're going to be out by Easter and Easter would come and Easter would go. And then Thanksgiving and then it would be Christmas again. And they died of a broken heart. Stockdale concluded by saying, I never doubted not only that I would get out but also that I would prevail in the end and turn the experience into the defining event of my life, which in retrospect, I would not trade. Jim Collins famously wrote about the Stockdale Paradox in his classic book, Good to Great. You must retain faith that you will prevail in the end regardless of the difficulties. And at the same time, you must confront the brutal facts of your current reality, whatever they might be. None of us are likely to go through the hell that James Stockdale did. The Stockdale paradox perfectly sums up what it's like to be a founding CEO of a company. Much of your existence as a startup CEO is going to feel like hell. Investor after investor is going to pass and customer after customer is not going to want to buy your products and you're going to be flirting with running out of money time and time again. And many times you may not know how you're going to make payroll and 
you're going to lose your best employee at exactly the wrong time. And just like Stockdale, you're not going to ignore what's going on. You're going to fight and be brutally honest about your situation. But just like Stockdale, you have to believe that you're going to survive. Now, if you like today's story, then hit that like button right now. I worked with a co-founder that was just like the POWs that didn't make it. His name was Doogie. Doogie was always thinking the next VC was going to be the one that was going to fund us. Doogie was sky high after each VC meeting. Then Doogie went into panic mode when a VC passed. The conversations went something like this. Brett, nothing's working. We're never going to get funded. We need to change our strategy. And then I would talk Doogie off the ledge until the next time we got turned down. Eventually, Doogie couldn't take it anymore, so Doogie quit. And you already know what happened next, don't you? We got funded, of course. One of my other co-founders, Adolfo, used to say, it's not a matter of if we are going to get funded, it's a matter of when we are going to get funded. Adolfo understood the Stockdale paradox. Now let me tell you the other side of this story. Years ago, I worked for a CEO I'm going to call Bob. He never wanted to hear any bad news. And Bob liked to shoot anyone foolish enough to tell him bad news. I learned that the hard way when I told him all the problems that I was going to fix in the division he had just hired me to run. You have to accept your situation for what it is. Bob couldn't do that. And that eventually cost him his company. The difference between being delusional and optimistic realism is accepting your current situation for what it is. For example, in the situation I found myself in, I could say to myself, I know we only have six weeks to close our funding. And I know it's going to be tough. But I know we have four potential investors that are moving forwards with us. So I know we're going to be successful if we stick with it. Back to my story. If you remember, we only had six weeks to get funded. And I was worried that we would have a lot of employees quit when we went to minimum wage. We decided the best strategy was being brutally honest with our team. It was using the Stockdale paradox. The day after the board meeting, I had an all hands meeting with the team. And I told them exactly where we stood that we only had six weeks to save the company, that we would go to minimum wage. And then I answered the team's questions for the next hour. My voice tone was confident, but not cocky. However, I never gave them false hope. For example, when somebody asked me, what would happen if we didn't get a term sheet in the next six weeks? I said, well, then the company will shut down. When an employee asked me what our chances were, Instead of giving them odds, I just told them what stage we were at with each investor. In the end, three of the four investors gave us a term sheet, and more importantly, none of the team quit. Now, where does survivorship bias come into play? Stories like James Stockdale's story of surviving being a POW are great, and their stories are going to inspire us to keep going. That's survivorship bias. You have to believe you're going to survive because Stockdale survived. The reality is you may still fail even if you do everything right. We ended up surviving and getting our funding. However, it could have easily gone the other way. And if we failed, it wouldn't have been because we did anything wrong. The truth is we got lucky. All the stars had to be aligned for us to get funded. We could just as easily have failed through no fault of our own. Using the Stockdale Paradox gives you the best chance of success. Let me explain why. You will face many hurdles on your startup journey. Being realistic about your current static is crucial to your success. Realism is how you will continue getting better. Then throw in the optimism of knowing that you will eventually succeed gives you the best chance of having the grit necessary to survive. Let's summarize the key points in today's video. 
Number one, you're going to have a number of near death experiences as a startup CEO where your company's future hangs in the balance. Number two, you don't want to lie to yourself about the problems you and your company are facing. Number three, you also don't want to be so pessimistic that there is no hope of success. Number four, the Stockdale paradox is all about acknowledging how tough the situation you are in is, and at the same time, having the faith that you will succeed. Number five, survivorship bias is understanding we only hear the stories of success. You must also accept that you can do everything right and you may still fail. Now I have one more thing for you today. It's a free startup pitch deck template. It has all the slides that you need to create a great pitch deck template. All you need to do to get your free startup pitch deck template is click the link below today's video and it's yours for free. Now, what did you learn from today's video? Put your answer in the comments column below today's video. And if you have any questions for me, put them in the comments column too, and I'll be happy to answer them for you. Now, if you want more great content like today's content, then just wait around for about another 20 seconds or so. Some links are going to pop up and all you just need to do is click them. If you want to subscribe to my channel, then just click that subscribe button right now. If you want to like today's video, then just press the like button too. Now, I've really enjoyed speaking with you today. My name is Brett at brettjfox.com. See you again next week. Thanks a lot. Take care. Bye.